Welcome back, it's Dr. Baird here, and today we'll be discussing how to fix shoulder pain by improving the function and regaining control of your shoulder blade. So the shoulder is one of the most complex joints in the body, so when it comes to fixing shoulder issues, it's really important to assess and address the entire complex. And what that complex, complex consists of is the shoulder joint itself, so again, where the humerus or upper arm bone here attaches into that glenoid fossa, the mid-back, or your thoracic spine, which we've discussed in another video, is directly linked to the amount of shoulder movement that we have. And then the third thing, which we're going to address today, is the shoulder blade, or this thing that kind of sits flat against your rib cage right here. And so what we're going to do in today's video is show you three things you can do to improve the function and regain control of the shoulder blade to limit the impact that goes through that joint the tendons, the muscles, the ligaments of your shoulder, and finally solve shoulder pain. So thanks again for being here. Let's get started. The first thing that we want to assess and address is our ability to engage the lower muscles of our trapezius. So again, the trapezius is an important muscle that controls our shoulder blade and a lot of shoulder movement. And you probably know them as these upper traps right here. So these big, strong guys that look really good in a mirror. But what you might not know is that the sh th that trapezius muscle is actually shaped like a diamond on your back. So you got this coming down here, but then they come down into a little diamond and there are these lower fibers right here that oftentimes get neglected and when these things aren't firing right it's going to change the way that you move your shoulder and lead to more stress on the muscles tendon ligaments of the shoulder so to see if we're able to engage that muscle we're going to do an exercise called shoulder depression so i'll kind of show you here it's a really subtle movement so i'll kind of walk you through it but i'm going to start by facing the other way so what we want to do is be able to engage these muscles. It's about where my finger is on both sides here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do palm facing forward. You're gonna do your best to relax your shoulders as much as you can. So we don't wanna do kind of shoulder hikes like this. You're gonna start with relaxed shoulders and then from there, what you're gonna do is think of pulling your shoulder blades down. So I like to think of pulling those shoulder blades into your back pocket. So what it looks like is that I'm pulling down and then I'm relaxing. I'm pulling down and I'm relaxing. So what we wanna make sure is that again, like I mentioned before, we're not doing these kind of shoulder shrugs. That's not the movement there. And then the other thing is these aren't shoulder pinches. So just pulling the shoulder blades together. That's an important movement as well. But what we're really focusing on is do you have the ability to pull your shoulder blades straight down again it's a real subtle movement might be hard to see but if you have somebody kind of take two fingers right below your shoulder blades there a lot of times you can feel those muscles engaging when you do this movement so go ahead and give that a try and see how it goes again a lot of times this is a lot harder than you think the next thing that we want to assess and address is our ability to control that shoulder blade movement as it glides across our rib cage so to do that, we're gonna do an exercise called scapula circles, which we perform on all fours with our hands right under our shoulders, knees right under our hips. And so what's really important with this exercise is just we wanna keep our elbows straight throughout. So it's not, we don't want kind of bending through those elbows. So keeping your elbows straight, the easiest progression is just to drop your trunk down over those shoulder blades. Again, you'll feel a little pinch of those shoulder blades coming together here and back up. So first thing we wanna see, can we control that movement? Next, we're gonna take that movement into little circles. So again, keeping those elbows straight, you're gonna drop shoulders down, then you're gonna rock forward and start to press up. And again, you kinda of stretch it across the back as you move back, and then think of like diving back down. And so what you're gonna find is if you've lost control of this movement or you haven't practiced this, is this can actually be more difficult than it looks. It can feel pretty awkward. So give that one a try and make sure that you do both directions. So I kind of came forward there. Make sure that you can also start to come back. You wanna be able to control it both ways. And usually what you'll find is one way is gonna be a lot more difficult or harder than others. So go ahead and give that one a try and see how it goes.
The next movement we're gonna do to regain control of our shoulder blades is called scapula CARS. So CARS is just an acronym for controlled articular rotations, which really just means what we're gonna to try to do is take our shoulder blade through its full range of motion using just our muscles. So to perform, what we're gonna do is just start by bringing our shoulders up. That's gonna raise the shoulder blades up. Then from there, we're gonna roll them backwards. So you're going to bring them back, start pinching those shoulder blades together as you start to now pull them down. So again, going back to those shoulder depressions, only now your shoulder blades are pinched together as you pull them down. Once you get to the bottom, then you're going to start to go round them forward. As you round them forward, you're going to start to split them apart in the back there. So you feel a little stretch in the back as you start to pull them up and get back to that starting position with the shoulders up here. And so what you're gonna wanna make sure with this one is that you can do both directions. So we came backwards, but you can also start going forwards. And that the most important thing is you really keep this movement slow and controlled. If you notice, I didn't just do kind of shoulder circles like that. I really kept it slow and controlled to be sure that those muscles that control that shoulder blade movement are engaged. So go ahead and give that one a try. Let me know what you think. Hey, it's Dr. Baird here. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page to catch all our videos designed to help you build the strength and confidence to live active, healthy, and happy lives. You won't find it anywhere else.